Good morning, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on this RV again today. This will be part three, and hopefully the final part in this crazy adventure. Um, so, to it, we've already been working here for a couple hours, but this is the RV. Um, I've got my wife, Tony removing all this glue from the wrap that was on here. Um, that glue has done some really bad things to the actual gel coat. It's left spots on there that just won't come off. But anyway, uh, it's also required me to cut extra deep. Um, and unfortunately there's a very inconsistent, uh, well, I should say an inconsistent inconsistency about the finishing polish but anyway long story short uh tony's working on getting all the glue off of this side so i could compound and then polish and then coat it um i have already done the works to the rear here you can see how glossy and nice that looks but i've also done it to this side so this side is completely done i uh, even Pulled that slide out out and uh, there's no no windows in either side, but they're just the regular gel coat like that. So I polished those, put that back and I got the corners up there. You really need to watch out uh, and get the corners behind where the awning is because that's attached to uh, the actual slide out. And when the slide out comes out, that awning slides out with it and it protects the top of it and it extends just past where it's at so you can't get back there in that corner right there with a polisher so anyway you get that area whenever the slide out is out so that's what i did so this side's completely done the back is completely done looks awesome and uh we're still working on this side i am about to jump on my ladder and you can see how dull it is i'm about to jump on the ladder and get up there and coat that front cap because it's all cut and polished now it's time to coat it uh, and then we'll be doing uh, just a universal all-in-one on the full cab of the truck and then we'll be cleaning the wheels dressing the tires and that kind of thing but you can see how awesome it looks on this side I mean this thing was dull and nasty when I got it it's still far from perfect as perfection is not reality especially on a used vehicle I mean once you drive it off the lot it's now a used vehicle and that's kind of where we're at is it's in great shape we're bringing it back to life but it's still used still got some flaws but I can tell you that compared to this side this is a world of difference so we're gonna keep on keeping on and get this thing knocked out and we'll bring you back when we've got more progress so I'm pretty happy with how it's turning. Well, I'm very happy with how it's turning out compared to how it was when we started. So getting back to work. All right. So this roof was clean the other day when I started. Now it's dirty. I'm not going to bother cleaning it again. Um, I am going to get the wool out of here from the wool pad. It is sitting underneath the tree. The customer's not going to pick this thing up until tomorrow. So I just wanted to show I'm up here right now doing the last bit of polishing and applying the ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating and uh i just want to show you i polished the entire cap uh you can't get to all of it from the ladder and you can't see past right about there from the butt from the ground but if you're gonna do it guys do it right do everything properly it's worth it so anyway Polished the whole cap all the way to the die core, and I did the same thing back here on the rear cap. Everything was polished, was compounded, polished, and coated. So I'm gonna go ahead and get down now and start compounding the uh, passenger side. All right, just a quick video update. I'm not quite done putting the coating on yet, but you can see everything's glossy. I'm about to start getting all the bugs and stuff from out of there and I got to get rid of this mold, this mildew that's all over these uh, gaskets. So that's what I'm going to work on now. Uh, the cab's all been polished. I just got to wipe it down. It's got a little dust on it. 
So I'm gonna get all this mildew off these seals and get the bugs off the ceiling there and then finish putting the coating on and we're good to go. So I don't wanna show you guys too much yet. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So we'll be back probably when it's done. All right guys, I am so over this. I'm gonna settle down. If you just take a look, see all those love bugs everywhere? All right, yeah, they're everywhere. Okay, now check this out. Love bugs, and they're all alive. You wanna know what a love bug is? Let's zoom in, let's get a, Let's focus on these, but look at that. Those are love bugs, guys. Yeah, horrible. Okay, so now let's get back in focus. There we go. So they're everywhere. So what we did with this beast was everything got compounded with a rotary and a buff and shine double-sided wool pad i use the medium aggressive wool pad it's my favorite it cuts like crazy but it finishes nice too uh they have one that's more aggressive but it doesn't finish as well and it cuts about the same so i just use the medium one so everything got cut with my gel coat so this is my marine series product my Marine Series Gel Coat Oxidation Eating Compounding Polish. So, after that, it left some swirls and that kind of thing. So, I finished it with my uh, Harbor Freight DA, an orange buff and shine 5 inch pad, and universal all in one. Uh, couple reasons I use universal all-in-one number one this gel coat finished out after compounding very similar to how paint would be um, so because I love the universal all-in-one so much and it does a great job of removing any compounding haze and holograms but it also finishes super super nice see all the gloss that we have after I finished that I applied cream acrylics pro hybrid coating the regular car version anyway so it was compounded it was polished it was coated with the best of the best and uh we polished the whole cab just with universal all-in-one uh now universal all-in-one has the ceramic acrylics blend in it that is ceramic and acrylic uh which is better than either one of those by itself ceramic alone or an, or acrylic alone is very different than having both of them together in a fantastic concoction. So look at those reflections. So it was all kinds of oxidized, but the biggest problem with this detail that we encountered was having to remove all of the glue from whoever wrapped this thing. So the wrap wouldn't stick I don't have any other particulars other than that. The wrap wouldn't stick, it was flopping around, they took it off. So the glue that they had to use to put the wrap on, well, it was all over this thing. So we had to remove the glue, which if you saw part one, which I'm hoping that you did, uh, I, I had some isopropyl alcohol laying around. I was able to source more because it actually removed this glue better than anything else but it was still a very tedious process i mean we've got days and days into making this rv look amazing we clean the wheels dress the tires if you're wondering that is transform dressing diluted 50 50 with water if you are a glossy tire fan that is what you need um, I didn't realize the dilution was so heavy when I, uh, when Tony sprayed it on. Tony's my wife. She helped me with this deal. Um, what else? 
I got all the mildew from these seals all the way down. Uh, I got all the bugs from up in that area there. I got up on the roof. I scrubbed the roof. I sealed the rubber rubber roof uh, with my weather resistant vinyl protectant from my Marine series. So that was all done. I compounded this cap probably three times to make it that glossy. And then I hit it with the Universal All-in-One and then the Ceram Acrylics used the car version. This side we completely did today. So that's it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that takes the time to listen to me babble and talk about random detailing shenanigans and whatnot. If I can ever help you in any of your detailing endeavors, reach out. If you don't reach out, I can't help. 813-846-4406. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you want to get in there, you want to learn about what I've got going on, you want to learn more about my products, potentially use those, get in there, you'll learn a lot, and I'm always available to help if you need my help, If all you've got to do is reach out. So uh, this has been a huge undertaking, several days worth of detailing, finally done. I'm actually waiting for the owner to pick up the car now, or pick up the RV now. Um, there's no way he won't be ecstatic when he sees this thing because it was a, I mean, it looked like he was part of the clampets rolling into a campground looking like he did before, but this is going to be awesome for him. They're going to be able to be proud that they spent good money for a good coach. They said mechanically this thing's been awesome. The finish though, not so much. So I wish he would have contacted me before he bothered that wrap situation, but it is what it is at this point. It's all done. It looks amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you. And if I can help you in any way, let me know. Thanks again, guys, and have a wonderful day.